Couch time with, with Key and King. Key, Key, King. You gonna stop remixing this song? Can we just get it together? I mean, I just, just trying to just do it originally. And you no, what, no, that was it. Y'all heard that Missy Elliott remix? He tried to add in there. We not ficky ficky ficking right now. Oh, damn! I thought that was the new original. No, what, how was it? Orange New Black? We is not on Netflix yet. Oh, okay. Damn. Sorry, I thought it was on Netflix. <laughs> You know you. With these sounds and stuff. You added the little Police Academy, you remember that little man with the voice box? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You inspired? All my kings. Queens, Queens and, and in-betweens. Y'all know what time it is. It's the Royal Couch. And we're going to do what? Talk about some things. Some motherfucking things. I am super excited for today's show. You already know. It's our pop-up interview with you already know. The one that you all <laughs> been waiting for. Wayne DePayne. Wayne and DePayne. We have a call-in. We do. We have a call-in, guys, from Kendra. We're going to talk to about I'm, I'm super excited about that to see what goes on with was... what she has to say and all of that good stuff. She was such a light on the show. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know her fans are uh, waiting and waiting for her to um, 
see what she got to say. So, without further ado, I want to bring them on, but you already know we got to shout out our sponsors really yes. quickly. And shout out to AD from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. You know, she has a brand because we say it every episode. Dig, Dig the, the Kicks. kicks. Ooh. <laughs> Dig the Kicks is a dope as super unisex, dope. unisex. Uh, clothing line. Super comfortable. It got from t-shirts to hoodies to joggers to sweatsuits to dad hats. Uh, sneakers. I mean, it, it's so much. And they're comfortable. So, I mean. Oh, my gosh. Crop tops. I know you see it all the time on our on our shows. We always wear their merchandise. Yes. Make sure you go to wear their merchandise yourselves at digthekicksdtk.com. And you're going to type in what? Code Royal. In the promo code and make sure you get that 15% off. I'm yeah. super excited. Like, you, you're skipping the sponsor. No, no. I'm, that's what I'm about to say. I'm oh. super excited about this next sponsor. You know why, right? Why, why, why? Because we're gracing their cover. We? Us. Who, you? You. Me? Me. What hair am I wearing? Soon hmm. to find out. Oh, no, it is. On the cover of Swag Nation magazine. I'm super excited that we have Grace to cover Swag Nation magazine, the brand ambassadors. And, I mean, we are... It's been a privilege and an honor to be collaborating with them because they have been so dope. And now to feature us on the cover of their magazine, Volume 14, you can uh, purchase it at oh. SwagNationMagazine.com. So make sure you go there now and purchase that uh, magazine. It's yeah, super dope. Put it on your wall, real cute. Right? Yes, yes. I think it's cute right over the mask. Next time you see us, we're going to have it on our wall, you know? Yeah. That's what we need, hello? Yeah. But no, SwagNationMagazine.com is the number one independent artist magazine in the nation. They... Uh, Keep up with so many different, different <laughs> artists, and not just artists as far as musicians, but comedians, models, um, podcasters. I mean, just different things. And I, it's so dope to be putting people on a the map. They reach 75 countries worldwide. I mean, it's a huge thing. And if you want to catch any of our videos with uh, our celebrities, with Dr. Nicole, with Maya, anyone of those great celebrities, <laughs> you can go on SwagNationMagazine.com and under the key and king tab, you click those and our the Royal Couch videos will come up. So make sure y'all go to that. Hello. Okay. You know, a little commercial. A little commercial. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I miss you. You know I always love when I have my brother back and guys mm -hmm. we're gonna have a great episode for without further ado i do want to bring our guest our special guest and yes. i'm super excited Wayne to Wayne. have him now so wayne the pain i don't be nosy you come you on I mean? I'm professional, right? <laughs> <laughs> right right here right it's right here it's right here come here can't you this season, though? Skags. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? How y'all doing? We're doing great. Um, You're a little uh, low. Can we... Oh, man. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we can hear you good. Okay. How you doing? Good, you? Great, great. Right. Thank you so much for coming on. Man, it's amazing to see y'all, too. I am so happy to be here. I love the <laughs> yes. workout. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. that. Sorry it took so long. I but know, right? We definitely oh, no, was going to definitely, definitely have you on. Oh, yeah. Yes, definitely. We would love for you to tell you your truth. That's what we're about. Right. Um, okay. And you know I'm nosy. I'm the nosy. Hello, and I'm we're empowering. So we just want to make sure we send so much love and support, especially right. Kendra's right. way, and let her know that the workout definitely. definitely supports um, definitely. her and everything that y'all do. Um, but again, thank you for coming on. And before we get started, uh, can you shout out to her social media and uh, her social media? Yo, you can find your, yo, me, your boy, Wayne DePayne, at agent underscore Wayne DePayne, my girl, T.S. Little Kendra, at T.S. underscore Little Kendra, T.S. underscore Little underscore Kendra. And it's her mm. calling in right now. Oh, okay, yes, you can bring her in anytime. Yeah, she just, I got you. You can bring her in anytime. I don't want to, you know, I know she has, want to make sure she'd be able to talk and stuff. Right. Hello? What's Gooey? How you doing? Hey. 
pretty good. Hey, I just went live, so I'm about to go ahead and let you, you know what I'm saying, speak with the royal couch now, okay? Okay. All right. Guys, we are about to talk to Kendra live. Say hello, Kendra. Hey, what's going? Can you hear what's us? What's going? How what? you doing, love? We just want to send love. We love you, babe. We hope you're all right. Yes, right. stay strong, and, and we're here for you. And I know you can't see right now, but the... No, of course, of course. But thank you. Thank you for coming on. You did and, not have to take you know, this time. Yeah, you, you know did not have to take this time, so thank you so much. You actually got up. Right, okay. You know, whatever questions anybody want to ask, you know what I'm saying, you got up for 10 minutes, so, you know what I'm saying, okay. ask away. All right, great. So, um, Kendra, um, I want to get into the show a little bit and get your standpoint. Actually, before the show a little bit, I want to get to know who you are. And can you let us know uh, when did this whole little Kendra uh, phenomenon start right. and getting into music and who are your inspirations in music? Keep it moving. It's amazing to see your journey and to know where you come from and to come now and see your music and the growth and the amount of, you know, your views that are coming on and just the accomplishments that you are doing. Despite your, you know, your situation now, I believe you're winning. Like, baby, you're winning. Home, we, watch her. we watch you consistently do this movement with what you have and who you are. That is the dopest of dopest things to, that you are allowing us to see your growth like that and the way you are moving. So I commend you on just opening your heart and showing who you really are because a lot of women in your situation would not do that. Getting into the show a little bit, um, how did you get, how did you, you know, find Chasing Atlanta or did Chasing Atlanta find you? Like, how did that whole thing happen? How did you come about with Chasing Atlanta? Like, how, what was the start? How did you pretty much figure out about auditioning? Or whatever? Well, of course, Thank you, Wayne the Pain, Big, y'all 
I love you too, my nigga. I love you too, my nigga. Uh-huh. Yes, he is. Yeah, um, yeah, we did the audition and we went from there. I know that's right. Well, I'm so glad that you are picked to be on cast. Right, um, you see a whole different. Both you and Wayne DePain, Um, I feel like you know you give a great element. Um, mm-hmm. you give a uh authentic. Yes, like it's you're it's authentic. Ironic. It's real. Um, people can relate to you because it's not that fake bougie and I'm not coming for nobody because we all know that the Royal Couch is an unbiased right. show and we love everyone and we're here to we uplift see what we see. everyone and not bash mm-hmm. nobody so right. you know I love the energy that you give mm-hmm. even with because you're just real and you just like real energy and you know what I'm saying so I, I just respect that I love the let it be known attitude I'm not here to bother you or cause no issues but I'm going to tell you what I don't like and what I do like and what I'm going to have and I don't see nothing yeah. wrong with that I don't see nothing wrong. That's why I appreciate it. That's how the world needs to be. Let me let you know what I don't like so we can get past it. And I understand that definitely. Um, I'm almost the same way. So let's you know let's talk about chasing Atlanta a little bit. And uh, Wayne, we didn't forget about you, but I know we have a time frame with uh right. with uh, uh, Kendra, so we're gonna uh, talk with her a little bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, Kendra, let's talk about it a little bit. So you know, we start off. You know, we we we're at the. Uh, Album release. I want to talk. Mm-hmm. Let's start there at the album release, which congratulate. I mean, the video release, which congratulations. I mean, which a dope video. Okay. Um, the music is dope, so I want to say that first and foremost. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Um, but give me the energy of what it was, and why did you feel that um, Oliver was, you know, being <laughs> right. <laughs> happened differently in that moment to where in the next you know setting it would have been you know a cordial or a okay thing yeah what would have made it better well prior to that like at your at your release at the video release like what what could he have done maybe after like were you kind of looking for an apology or like what rubbed you so much that Okay. 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 Hey, shortly after that, I found out that 
find out he was just saying a lot of things. I don't want nobody to have a kid in the boutique to the speaker and Wayne. Like, come on now. Y'all saw more than three people there. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right, the right, thing right. is this. If, if you're going to, you don't have to respect me. You get what I'm saying? But don't disrespect anything that I got going on. Because I want to come to your event and do none of that. You feel me? And I just believe right. that if all of them Real, he would have called me to the front. He was like, "Hey, you know, we'll do this, we'll do that the next day or whatever." Then we would have been good, but he didn't do that. So that's where the beef came. Don't I'm with you. And, and, and you know what? I <laughs> you can't help but agree with that. I, I understand that completely. Help. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, shout out to Oliver and his music. Be honest with you, I, I can't be mad at that you at can't. all because I'm almost the same way. Like I keep saying, um, but moving moving forward, you know, we do see you at the um, the brunch, and I guess it gave that which you just said led into that to where right. you saw him, and I kind of the mood was changed. So I know the perspective of everybody else was like, okay, you came with this negative energy, but what was your perspective in coming in? What was the energy that you got? Yeah, what made what, what, what took it that far? The energy that I, I was not coming with the negative energy once again. That's how I was shown. Mm. And guess what? Okay. Then, I was coming with the negative situation. Let's say like the brunch or whatever. I know it seems like I came in, here comes the, the, the here comes the hell right. Here comes this bitch. But it wasn't like that. When I walked in the table was set a first way. And I felt like I was set up. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I probably was walking in happy. But when I got there, I got pissed off. And I sat down and it's like I'm facing everybody. And the first thing that comes out is Kendra. So Kendra, so Kendra, hold on. Y'all can't be talking about this. 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 There. And it's like, you haven't had time to talk to me. We ain't discussed, we ain't, it's, uh, it's nothing, Kendra, I want to talk to the best, so you brought it there. Mm. Kendra, you got like 30 seconds, so go ahead. Oh. Uh, yeah. We love you, Kendra. Any lasting words you would say to your fans? Anything you want to say to your fans? That's what's up. We love you. We love you, Kendra. He's <laughs> you guys. It's like <laughs> Look at you making friends in jail, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You ain't gonna make it free. You got Let's go. They hear I've been interviewed. Yeah, okay. Call me back. I love you. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
I had never been so amazed by nobody's lyrics or mm -hmm. so much emotion in her bars. And I was like, let's get together. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what we could do together. And she got her own record label. And at the time, she was like, you know what? I don't even want it no more. I don't want to be in this industry. I don't want to be, you know what I'm saying? Because how she was being treated and betrayed. So I was just like, you know what? Let's see what we could do together. You know what I'm saying? What you know what I'm saying? How we can make moves and get everything coming about. And since then, man, me and Kendra be together every day. I swear, <laughs> every day. Like people will you question our connection. relationship. Like, are y'all, you know what I'm saying, are y'all fucking or you know what I'm saying, are y'all in a relationship? What y'all got going on? But I was like, me and Kendra, we always had one mission, and that was the music. You know what I'm saying? The passion that and to see her dreams come because transgender women, man. They get blackballed and pushed aside just for right, anything right. because they who they want to be. Kendra. Yeah, so the movie y'all thought I was gone, but guess what? The queen has returned. <laughs> the queen has returned. Yeah, thank you, Wayne, for noticing that. Like, a lot of people, I know they like, well, probably just come in like that. But, you know, like, with this whole jail thing, it's, Oh, I wonder what she did and all this and all of that. No, no, what? Am I okay? Ask those questions. She is transgender. Did they put her by herself? No, I'm in population. Like, wow. there's certain things that people look past. You know? Are you all right? I said, are you okay. all right? Yeah, so, you know, we just got to, I just think as LGBT community and all of that, you know, we need different things. Like, we really need to be, people be expecting us to be fancy. And the reason, like, starting off, I started off in the straight clubs, I started off around straight people. Nobody really knew that Kendra was a PF or so Kendra, but one thing I can say, they show I completely understand that. something you 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 are going you have something you have definitely you have the passion and not only do you have the passion you have the talent with the passion and it that's very very rare to come by these days you know mm -hmm. people do things just for clout and do things for numbers and the music you know and the and the uh the money but you, you can tell you actually do it for the music like this is something mm -hmm. that is really embedded in your soul and she has fun with her life like, you can see that all over you. Like, you have a real good time. You and Dwayne Payne, like, I'd be like, they have a ball, like, chilling, doing what they love to do. And that's dope that we can watch and see the passion that y'all have. Like, it's amazing. Yeah, because when I tell you I was so shocked, we were shocked. We was like, oh, my God. Like, it's really something that we really didn't know. Like, we didn't know. Like, anybody to believe in me is beautiful. But I'm talking straight people. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, right. we were like, Enough. My skin wasn't light enough. It, it, you get what I'm saying? Everything. 
Everybody right. overlooked the gift. I refuse mm. to be invisible anymore. Okay, come on now. Hello. I know that's right. Because you have to trust the process and trust in him and right. know that your time is your time. And when it's your time, can't nobody take it from uh -huh. you. Period. Right. Can't okay, nobody take it from you. It's yours. Okay. Right. Well, speaking of speaking of people um, seeing you and 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 and, and getting your music together. I, I want to know um, what is next, you know, for Kendra. Uh, you know, when you come out, you know, what I mean, are we, you know, new music? Or are we, you I know, what? Yes. What's coming out for you? I'm definitely gonna get new music. The first single that I'm gonna give is Free Little Kendra. Um, that's gonna be out February 16th. Okay. I'm excited. Okay. We still got the album. Mm, I can't wait. Yeah. Huh? I said, I can't wait. We're going to love I can't wait. Oh, yeah, you're going to love it. Okay. It's going to be hot. But free little kids, right? as soon as I get out, she will be recorded and pushed and everything. Okay. And she's going to be out there with her fans. And it's already another new single where y'all probably will hear it in a couple weeks that's about to be released with another castmate, but we ain't gonna say no names, but definitely look out for that one. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna that's, right. yeah that's one thing she do when she home now, she live in the studio. Every oh, I believe it. Come on, because it's like, like the Oh, my bad. I couldn't figure out where my sound was going. It was going to my headset, but I do uh, apologize. Oh. Yeah, Come on like, now. <laughs> like, what is going on? But Kendra, she about to call back in a few minutes, but, um, she just want to let y'all know she do appreciate everything. Oh, no, right. definitely. We, we, right. It's all love and support, definitely. Most def. Right. But let's, let's get into you a little bit. Um, okay. How, how did you get started? And, you know, what what formed this whole thing where you, you know, becoming a manager and all of that good stuff? And where um, did your name come from? Wayne the Pain actually is the struggle that I always felt like I went through as being a gay man. Uh, from North Carolina, I got two kids, um, hey. and I always felt like I had to hide behind my kids or being with the female so that people could actually see the real me. So it was like I was hurting my own self, and so I was like that pain that I always felt. I wanted to use it to, you know, what I'm saying, express, you know, what I'm saying how I really felt. So that's where Wayne the pain came from. And when I was a kid, they'd be like, Wayne, you ain't nothing but a pain in the ass. So, you know what I'm saying? It was like, <laughs> Wayne, yeah, but. My bad, that was Kendra calling back, but I'm gonna have to, I had to do the live from my phone because for some reason it's messing up. Oh, okay, no right. problem. No, I. Nah, and, um, with my manager and thing that actually came about as um actually working with Kendra and getting to know on the business side of everything. At the time, she did have a manager. He was a kind of older dude, and he was kind of showing me the ropes and everything. And it got to a point where he would put his other artists before Kendra and it was like he would only want to put Kendra in maybe like LGB events. He didn't want to put her or he would just be like, well, the white folks don't want to see Kendra. Or he was like, her music is too hard for, you know what I'm saying, for this type of thing. So it got to a big altercation. So we actually looked for like maybe a month or two for different managers to manage Kendra. And she was like, Wayne, you know what? I feel like this is your calling. You know what I'm saying? So I did my job. You know what I'm saying? At the time, it's just been me and Kendra for a minute. Now, everything we did from all the flyers, with all the paintings and everything here, that's, you know what I'm saying, 
we all about the youth. We, that's why our album is going to be called Next Generation. Everything is okay. for the next generation. So, oh, you know oh, what I'm oh, saying? Man. Right. So everything we put out there, we wanted it to be about, you know what I'm saying, love and the truth. So, you know what I'm saying, we do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody else support us, so we support ourselves. So that's how I got to make your own name. I'm not going to Right. So moving forward, you know, knowing about Chasing Atlanta and knowing that um, this is something that you wanted to put herself in, did you know that, you know, you will be heavily involved with it as well? And did you expect this? Did you expect this type of uh, commentary and feedback since then? Um, I actually had known about Chasing Atlanta from since season one. Me and Dave Vine was pretty good friends. Um, okay. And it was just like, wow, this would be a good platform now for Kendra, you know what I'm saying? Because she is in the LGBT, and her old manager used to tell me, don't nobody know Kendra? Don't nobody know Kendra music? Who is Kendra? So I figured, why not put her on a platform where she's able to showcase her music and get out there, you know what I'm saying? Especially Atlanta, this it's popping now. This is where, right, right. you know what I'm saying, everything music. is. So it was just like, it was a great opportunity. And Kendra is the truth. I ain't going to lie. If you meet her, like, just hanging out with her, you will see why Chase and Atlanta really picked her. You know what I'm saying? She is genuinely. Um, when I came on to the show, I did not expect for everything like it was. I never wanted to steal Kendra's spotlight. All I wanted to do was push the music. Kendra is kind of biased when it's around a lot of LGBT people because like she said she always get the most hurt for them you know what i'm saying like they always judging her if she felt like on her skin or you're yeah, not the prettiest or you know what i'm saying so she always you know what i'm saying so i always kind of like i was with her protector you know what i'm saying i love right. i know that's right right i know that's right i'm not mad at that you know what to be honest with you the relationship between you guys right or is jane you can tell it's jane mm -hmm. it looked like right. It it, it, it yeah. reminds me of the We Were Born connection, like just that kind oh, of shout out that We Were Born. Like I say, I yeah. love them. They are when we first met them, it got shit kind of got crazy. But mm -hmm. I honestly, I regret it ever, my bad. I regret that it, it ever even got to that point because during that time we lost out with really good people. But I'm glad we did rekindle it and got everything straightened out once we got to Miami right, right. because Well, I wanted are, to uh, ask you that. I wanted to ask you that, you know, right. because the start of the, the, the season, um, it seemed through the confessionals and through the scenes, it seemed a little like it was gonna be rough between right, you know, uh Kendra, Way to Pain and We Were Born. So, you know, Starting that, what was your feeling in going into that? And did you go with the expectation that people were going to kind of judge you like that? Me and Kendra are, are kind of the same. Like, I had a problem with Jay Twan. She had a problem with Berlin. So, of course, she's not going to be mean to Jay Twan because he don't like me. So, it was just like, damn, we got to be around them. I was just like, I don't give a fuck. If you don't want to fuck with them, I don't want to fuck with them. She was like, nah. I'm going to fuck with Berlin because us as trans women really got to stick together in this thing. Right, and she was right. like, no matter what, this show beyond all of everything, you know what I'm saying, we need to stick together. And when we got there, it was just like, you know what I'm saying, shit kind of went left real quick, but it came right back. And I really loved We Were Born. They're dope people. They are. That's, That's really what's up. <laughs> Okay. It's nice. I mean, because you don't hear that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, we had a little issue. Now we cool. Right. That's right. what's up. Like, I'm, well, that makes me feel good about my community. Uh, you know, I, we be fighting right. for nothing. I'm waiting for you to ask the question we was talking about earlier. What's the question? A little bit about the love like that. Oh, no. Because, you know, I just want to know. And I'm sure it's other people that want to know because, you know, he be all professional and stuff. So, okay. is there is there somebody waiting for Wayne the Pain when he gets offset? Um... Wayne the Pain, nah, ain't nobody waiting on me. Why though? I'm a free spirit, you know what I mean? I'm trying to figure things out. So when everything comes right and God send that right one, you know what I'm saying? I'm in Atlanta, you could find that anywhere. But you find yeah. that one 
that's gonna be ride or die. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck about the bull. You know. Sorry about cuss. I know this a family show. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know what I'm saying? I want to find that one that's gonna be genuine. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna actually remember something I stupid I said and be like, you said this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what well, it's it looked like it looked like Jackie claiming you. Okay. Talking about some back off way my husband. I was just asking. <laughs> but okay, so you're single, you're not out there right now, you're chilling. So what do you what is what does Wayne Payne do when he's just chilling? What is something you do to wind down, relax? Um, actually right now I've been working my ass off. So I'm trying to release my own E P. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I wanna act I wanna actually put that pain out there. I wanna bring back the nineties. I want to, I want to put something out there that I feel like I could bring as an artist. And man, without Kendra, it's been really, 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 really tough for me. I but, it. but right now I'm just it's giving me more time to put my emotions into my writing and actually listen to other artists and see what they got going on. So right. that's what I've been doing right now, trying to so work that, hard. And you know, that leads me to my next thing. Right. You know, what is next for, you know, Wayne DePain? Is that what your journey is, the music? Um, Right now, my journey is, I say shouts out to Jen Johnson. That's one of my big motivations right now. I've seen this woman doing, you know what I'm saying, big things. Like, man, like, I can't wait to get to that point where I'm actually working with, you know what I'm saying, different people and, traveling the world and you know what I'm saying I love that that's what I you know what I'm saying I love to work with people I want to work with more kids because I feel like the younger generation can listen to me more and, and get a better understanding instead of already knowing but yeah that's what I want to do honestly that's my motivation and that's what I feel like next for me I want I want to bring on a kid or you know what I'm saying Somebody maybe 13, 14 that's actually musically talented and really ready to work on their dreams, though. Mm -hmm. That's, what's up. that's, that's what's right. I love these interviews. Right. This is exactly why right. I love this show because, you know, it is no shame right. to nobody else's show because I like ratchet stuff right. like the best of right. them. I do. You know what I mean? But right. this is why I love our show because I feel like people get to really know who the cast members are because it's you only get a snippet of who you are on these right. shows. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you really and don't get it. Then that is edited. You know what I'm saying? So you really don't get to know. And I feel like when you come on these shows, we get a different perception on everybody that people may like. We've had villains, like, quote, unquote, the right. villains. We've had right. the fan favorites. The we host. had the, quote, unquote, <laughs> boring ones, the hoes. But when mm -hmm. you get on here, it's so much depth to you guys. And it's not to put you in a box, but right. it's also to say that I have so much respect and love for you exactly. even more. Right. And I support I, you even more. I want to shout out to Sky also because, like, he had a – he put in me – he let me see that whenever you do any show, you got to have those different characters or, you know what I'm saying, to actually make a production move. And I had to realize that everybody's going to see something different, even in regular shows, like, you know what I'm saying, right. the, the Simpsons, you got the mom, you got the dad, you know what I'm saying, know. you got – you got to look at everybody as a different character. So I had to think about, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the actions and everything that I was doing because I had to realize, you know what I'm saying, it's only reality. It's going to look one way to somebody else, even if you did it another way. Hello. You better speak right. on it. And right. That's the truth. You need to talk. But you know what? Because people need to hear that sometimes, even though right. they know it and it's common sense. Sometimes right. it doesn't click until you actually hear it out loud. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Kendra. Is right. this, you know, filming and then watching yourself back, what were your two experiences and are you happy with what you see when you watch yourself back? When I first watched it, I was like <laughs> in love. The first, the first episode, the second episode, but when we hit that gold party, I was like, who are these two drunk motherfuckers? Like, I, I was like, Kendra cry. I was just like, man, I really, you know what I'm saying? It made me realize that, you know what I'm saying, you do have those crazy days, you know what I'm saying, that you look back and laugh on. And I wouldn't say I would do it over again, but, you know what I'm saying, it happened, it happened. So, you know what I'm saying, I, it just had to learn from that experience that next time, you know what I'm saying, to just back off. 
let things calm down, and, you know what I'm saying, let Kendra, you know what I'm saying, handle her own situation. So I look, I take all the bad advice as good advice so I can learn mm -hmm. from it. So okay. that's how I, that's how I deal with it. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like every episode. <laughs> Ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Well, watch yourself back. Is there anything that you would do different? Took it right out of my mouth. Um, do different. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would definitely say the bathroom situation with Jay Twine. You know, Cameron he work his ass off for everything he do. And I would never, you know what I'm saying, that was disrespectful to me. Even though I felt like I was protecting Kendra, I could have, you know what I'm saying, still, that's what I would have do, do different, you know what I'm saying. I would never want to. And then we was all at Henry's in front of the white people. I ain't right, want to be right, looking right. crazy. <laughs> like, we a ratchet ass show, so. And no disrespect to chasing, you know what I'm saying, Atlanta reality. You know what I'm saying? I don't want their name to be damaged because of me, and, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. acting up. So I would take that back, yo. Yeah. Definitely. That's what's up. Look, I love. Ain't <laughs> you so cute in yellow? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Look with the yellow, ready to yeah. turn up for the night. I know yeah. that's right. Where you going tonight? I don't know. I might just go to a bar or something, chill out with a couple of my friends. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's right. But that's it. Not too much. That's what's up. I so, I'm ready uh, for the my little boom, the city. I, I wanna I wanna I wanna ask about reunion. The reunion, I definitely want everybody to come, you know what I'm saying? We got a couple more days. My bad, my phone blown up. That's We got a couple more days. Nah, no, we got a couple more days, you know what I'm saying, that we gotta raise this few dollars. So we definitely trying to make sure we get Kendra to the reunion. So Everything work out good, you know what I'm saying? That would be dope as hell to see my friend back at the reunion. But yeah. but she been locked up for three months and I ain't seen her. And I was just like, I ain't gonna let her go, you know what I'm saying? She look crazy or nothing. But I definitely hope, you know what I'm saying, she can definitely be a part. Because I know it would mean the world to her to be, even though they ain't all her peoples and everything, I know it's gonna feel good to be out and just, see everybody so i definitely want that for her definitely. Definitely. so what 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 are the 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 backup plans so like what, are you going to be there either way i'm definitely going i i love chasing reality like i said I, they did nothing wrong to me or kendra but help us you know what i'm saying with the streams you know what i'm saying with getting my we're giving my dog name out there like i hear so many people now saying little kendra and i'm coming yo that's amazing to me you know what I'm saying? Kendra wrote that song in 30 minutes, so I definitely going to support. And I want all all the fans, everybody to go and support everybody because it's going to definitely be dope. You get to hear the truth, and that's definitely what needed because you can watch the show, but when you go to the re the reunion, it's definitely going to give you everything you need. Well, the the vote will be in the we'll building. Be okay. The oh, y'all going? Oh, that's yeah, it. I can't wait there. to meet y'all. That's going to be dope. Yeah, that's what's up. yeah it's going to be real dope. It's going to be real dope. Right. Man, that's amazing, though. I really want to thank y'all because y'all, I see y'all a lot. You know what I'm saying? And I watch y'all, and I, I look at how y'all are with each other. And that's uh, definitely a plus because, you know what I'm saying, whenever you can work with your cast, though, you know what I'm saying, that's definitely like you could finish each other's sentence and it's like it just keep it flowing. Like this is what me and Kendra, we got a little gen uh, next generation news that we we ain't did in a minute, but it's where we post our videos and everything. So I definitely okay. look at other reality, well, you know what I'm saying, YouTube shows so I can learn from it. But I definitely, I love y'all. Y'all my number one show that I watch. Hey. Oh, don't do that. Look. Yeah, I really, I'm telling you. <laughs> don't do that. Look, don't do that. That's dope, though, though. That, for real, for real. That means a lot. It does. Yeah. I definitely, man, why wouldn't I support, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all are LGB. Y'all work good together. Y'all look good, you know what I'm saying? Y'all shit always be on point. Oh. <laughs> you better tell him to shut his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you better tell him to have it. <laughs> I will find you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Don't, so make me, don't make me do another live with you and you be sitting back there. No, I definitely, <laughs> I 
can't wait to get little Kendra home. So you know she's gonna be all over the place. Baby. Right, yeah, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for to get in her right. face like for real for that like yeah. that spirit like. We be watching y'all too and saying this. It's almost the same thing. Like the way y'all operate with each other is like how we will operate. Like it is what it. Right. Right. Don't do it. <laughs> Not this one. Don't do right. it. <laughs> Man, it's like even though me and Kendra, we've been around each other every day for like two and a half years. Miami trip made us like learn each each other more. I don't know why that trip did it, but it was just like, man, from the airplane, from the getting to the house and dealing with everybody, you know what I'm saying? It built a relationship, a stronger bond between us and just learning, you know what I'm saying, the cast, because this was something we never did before, you know what I'm saying, with Chasing Reality. So it definitely was an experience in making us learn each other more. And that's something I would never want to give up or you know what I'm saying that moment in time I definitely think Chasing Reality and Lil Kendra yo cause they both gave me an opportunity that I definitely love you know what I'm saying I definitely That's love them. That's <laughs> what, uh, you, gotta, hear that. you know what you gotta sometimes sit back and realize and see the bigger picture and things mm -hmm. even despite the drama despite who you like and who you don't like just getting out what you need from it and like you're saying like you know it did right. not only bring more streams and fans and supporters, but like you said, it, it brought a stronger connection mm -hmm. to you right. and your friends. It definitely so like, did. That's the best thing out of all of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So in, in all, like, I, like, again, I can't say it enough. I have so much love and respect exactly. for you guys. And we support, and we're going to support some more. And I hope I definitely um, appreciate we can it. definitely see... You know, Kendra at the reunion. That would yeah. be bomb. Like, okay. Be yeah, bomb. Make sure y'all be in the building because I know it's going to be turned that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we, we definitely going. Question What uh, I heard you went, earlier when we were talking about getting Kendra out. You were talking about you need to raise a few more dollars. Is there certain things that you've done? Is there GoFundMe's out? Where can people um, help? With the it's dollar sign free look, Kendra. Um, if anybody else want to know further details, just hit me on Instagram. That's uh, agent underscore Wayne the Pain. I definitely been trying to get her mother and her grandmother to come on live. Um, you know what I'm saying? Her grandmother lost 42 pounds in the last two and a half months since Kendra been locked up. You know what, mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it's like her mother working extra hard to do what she got to do. But it's like it's been a lot of stress on her family. So I just want to help take off a little bit of stress. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I can do, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get her album out and pay for the mix and the masters and to put it up and everything. That's still a lot. And like I said, it's just been me and Kendra in the last couple months, years, or whatever. So I'm just trying to make sure I do my part. You know what I'm saying? So everything stay afloat. And you're doing it well. You're doing it well. Don't let nobody do tell you better. different. Like, I, shout out I, to I, you. Like, shout I'm out to you. I'm trying to do better. Anybody out there that can help Wayne the Pain, like, I ain't there. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying that I made it. I'm the best or I'm the greatest. But I am the next generation P. Diddy. You know what I'm saying? That's what I call it. Come on. Out. Talk on it. Speak on it. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody out there can help a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm take, I take all advice. You know what I'm saying? I, Good I or bad. Like, I can learn I'm from it and get better. Definitely. I know that's right. He just yeah. gave me all kind of money. This was <laughs> so dope. Like, you are a dope individual. Yeah, he's cool as fuck. Um, nah. Shout out to, you know, <laughs> Jen. Uh, we do know Jen. Yeah. Um, shout out. Man, I love... I definitely love that lady. She's been truthful. She's been uh, inspiration, motivation, yo. She's been dedicated. I can't even say enough about that woman. She already know how I feel. And, and, <laughs> and when I say she has the same to say exactly. about you... And Kendra, she, I, I, honest to God, she has the same to say about you and Kendra. So, honestly, shout out to you. Right. Um, I, I, I humbly and graciously yes. appreciate you coming on here and really setting this up uh, with the right. Kendra. Yeah. We're having Kendra on the phone. And and then let, that's their time together. Thank you for sharing that because you could have just taken it to yourself. That is Man, man look, I try to make sure I keep money on the book because, like, Man, I talk to her every day. If I don't talk to her, something wrong. Like, the day she got locked up, you know what I'm saying, we was getting ready to get ready for filming. Her makeup, her nail, people calling me. And I'm just like, you know what I'm saying, I'm feeling in my heart if something wasn't right. I'm just like, I'm almost lost my breath trying to think about it. So when I actually found out she was locked up, I was like, 
Uh, thank God, but now nah, you know what I'm saying. Not because you know where she's at, right? You know what I'm saying, but, right. hey, you know what I'm saying? but yeah, I definitely, definitely want everybody to say prayers at night for because you know you never know how it is in the, on that side. So definitely say your prayers. You know what I'm saying. Everybody can't help donate. Everybody ain't got the money. Everybody got you know what I'm saying bills just like us. You know what I'm saying. So definitely say your prayers and make sure you keep little Kendra and Wayne the pain in the. <laughs> I real thought. Right. Look, real thought. And just pray. Yes, we'll definitely be in our prayers, and yes. we'll definitely be supporting, and we'll right. definitely be spreading the message as well. Right. Um, right. um, shout again. Shout out to you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you, boy. Your cows, of course. Okay. Like, <laughs> and this has been dope. And we're definitely gonna get another interview with you. Yeah. Um, right. And we can't do stuff to too. Question. Once the season right. plays out more, and uh, we get more of. <laughs> what's going on so we can get more of your side of the season and stuff like that. Okay. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you. Look, <laughs> but go ahead. We're not going to keep you much longer. You go ahead now. Have a good time. Questions. <laughs> all love, all support, and shout all out right. to Kendra. Free little right, Kendra. Thank y'all so much. Love y'all. The Royal Couch. Thank, thank you. Guys. Watch this some more. <laughs> all right. <laughs>